Hey, welcome back. It's another Dueling Excel podcast. I'm Bill Jellen from Mr. Excel. We'll be joined live in the same room with by Mike Gervin from Excel is Fun. Check this out. The new book is here. I just flew across the country to bring uh, Mike the first box. Woohoo! Most publishers would just use UPS, but hey, we're here, so let's do some Dueling Excel podcast. Now, this question is sent in by Amaran at uh, Facebook. Uh, has two dates, needs to count how many days are between those two dates, not counting Saturdays. All right, so if there's a Saturday, it's out of there. So normally, what we do is the later date minus the earlier date plus one would give us the number of days. So here on the 27th and 28th, you see there's two days. Simple enough, right? Double click to shoot that down. All right, now if we need to get uh, the number of Saturdays, that formula would make my head hurt. So I'm going to cheat, I think, and do equal net workdays international from the earlier date comma to the later date comma oh, and then check this out there's a way to count the saturdays only this is new in excel 2010 tab close parenthesis q double click to shoot that down all right number of saturdays is the first calculation minus the other calculation double click all right let's just do a little test here you know what would make this a lot easier if i come back here and change these to long dates there we go. Okay, so from Sunday to Monday, no Saturdays there. That worked out perfectly. This one, Thursday to Thursday, there should be one Saturday there. Yep. Friday to a week from Saturday, two Saturdays. That works. All right. Mike, let's see what you have. Woohoo! Wow. I gotta love this new function in 2010. No, not that one. This one right there, Networking Days International. And you can tell it the weekend is Saturday. Oh man, that's worth getting 2010 right there. All right, let's see. Uh, uh, I'm actually going to zoom in just a little bit here so I can see everything on the screen. All right, I'm going to use the weekday function equals weekday. What's great about weekday is you can give it a serial number. It's expecting a single serial number and it'll give you the number 1 to 7. 7 will be a Saturday. So serial number, oh, but I have a start and an end, and I really need a whole range in between. So I'm going to use the row function, and then inside the row function, I'm going to use indirect. Now, indirect, we can give it text. So I'm going to create from this begin date to this end date a range, and then the row will convert it, the index, indirect will convert it to a reference, and row will convert it to numbers. I didn't say that very well, but let's go ahead, start, ampersand colon, just like a regular range, and then the return date. Now if I highlight this and hit F9, evaluate, you can see sure enough it gives us our two dates. That's an array created inside the formula. Control Z, now return type, 1 through 7, you can pick whichever one you want. Default is 1, and that means one for Sunday, seven is Saturday. So I'm going to leave that argument off. Now, right now, that will give me F9. It'll give me a one and a two. It's going to give me an array of those numbers representing which day. Control Z. And I'm simply going to say, hey, I want to see which ones are greater than six. That means seven is the only day greater than six. Now that'll give me trues and falses and I want ones and zeros. So I'm going to wrap a double negative and put all of this inside of parentheses. If I hit that F9, it gives me two zeros because there are no Saturdays. Control Z. I want less than six. Let's try this again. No less than less than seven. Less than seven. Teamwork. All right, let's try this. <laughs> uh, F9. Uh, there we go, because we want to exclude the seven. Control Z, and then I'll just put it inside of some product. Control Enter, double click and send it down. Uh, Wait, why some product? Why not some simple wrapper function? Well, first off, let's get the, the uh, number of Saturdays. Um, it is actually. Oh, yeah, greater than 6. I'm going to notice this whole range is highlighted, that active cell right there. I'm going to hit F2. It's actually 7 
is what we want to exclude, so... Now we're counting the number of Saturdays. You want to know how many Saturdays. So do equal to seven. Equal seven. Control enter to populate all those formulas. Now, why the sum product instead of uh, sum? Well, if I have sum, there's an array. This is an array right here. And sum would require control shift enter. Sure enough, you could do that. There's the curly brackets, double click and send it down. But anytime I can, I'm adding and I have an array, why not use sum product? Because it doesn't require control shift enter. Yeah. Double click and send it down. All right. <laughs> we made it through that one with a little teamwork. All right. Uh, yep. Well, hey, all right. I want to thank you for uh, stopping by. We'll see you next time for another Dueling Excel podcast from Mr. Excel and Excel is fun. Woohoo!